practicing English. Hey, you guys! Did you read this in the paper today? Read what, Dave? There's this article on space. A number of countries, including the U.S., Russia, China, and some countries in Europe, are looking to launch spaceships to Mars. Yeah, I heard that too. New discoveries are being made every day about other planets in our galaxy. I like reading about new things that are happening and exploring the universe. In fact, I've just thought of a trivia question about space. Does anyone remember who the first person on the moon was? Hmm, that's easy. The first person on the moon was an American astronaut, Neil Armstrong. That's right, Monica. Okay, good start. Does anyone remember the year that this happened? Hmm. I know I wasn't born yet, but my older brother was seven. Hmm. I know. The moon was first visited by humans in 1969. Yes. Well done. You're correct. Dave, what else does your article say? Well, as you know, the sun is orbited by nine planets. Different countries are sending ships into space to explore the unknown parts of our solar system. I know this is an age-old question about space travel, but it's so expensive. A lot of people feel that the money that is being spent could be better used here on Earth. It sounds like you feel the same way. Am I right? Well, when I read articles about the money that is being spent to send scientists into space, and then I read about schools that have no books, old people having no place to live, it makes me wonder. Are we spending this money the right way? Well, you know, the other side of the argument is that the research that is being done may find amazing drugs that cure cancer, AIDS, or other terrible diseases. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. But you know, there are a lot of problems here on Earth, and the money could be used to change people's lives now. Well, the article I'm reading says that the concerns you have mentioned are very real. It also says that the earliest people could visit Mars is in about 10 to 15 years. Hmm. I've always wondered what it would be like to be in space for months at a time. Oh, Monica, you raise a good point. How long do you think it would take to travel to Mars? Hmm. Good question. Let me think. Does anybody else want to guess? I'm thinking a month or two of traveling to Mars. Hmm. Guess again. Okay. About six months. You're both wrong. Would you believe that if we launched a ship to Mars today, even at a very fast speed, it would take 13 months to get there? You're joking. That's unbelievable. That long? Yes, and it creates another problem as well. It takes a lot of fuel and power to get a ship to Mars, and once we get the ship there, it takes an equal amount of power to get the ship back, and the trip home will take another 13 months. Hmm. I'm really wondering how long a trip like this would be. Sounds like a person could be gone for three years or more. That's a long time to be anywhere. Just think, though, what an honor it would be to enter history as the first person to set foot on the red planet, Mars. Yeah, it would be amazing to be like Neil Armstrong. It would be a tremendous achievement. All this talk about the planets and Mars and space travel has made me want to learn more about our solar system. If Mars is the next planet man will visit, what's the next planet after that? Saturn, Jupiter? Dave, your students might find this an interesting topic to write about in class. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'll do a web search and see what I can find on Mars exploration. Then we can talk about it in class. Hmm. Okay, Dave. How are you going to get your students to talk or write about this topic? Well, let's take Carrie's idea. Is this a good way for humans to be spending their money? Maybe we can get them to debate the point. What problems will arise? What are the benefits of space exploration? What will we gain, and at what cost? Hmm. Dave, reading this article really got us all thinking about this interesting topic. Thanks. Let us know how it goes with your students, okay? Of course. <laughs>